way of doing it. Yeah, wood. I don't really use that method too often. I use this other one, which I shall now show you. This one's a bit better if you want certain things in certain places and such. You'll see what I mean in a sec. So what you want to do is press tab to change into edit mode. Then make sure you've got all the points selected, so do this just by pressing A and it selects all. You'll know because they'll be glowing orange. Then press P. Nope, wrong one, sorry. Press U. Don't know where I came with P there, but anyway. Um, and you c you got a list of things here. Uh, the, the more you do this, the more you sort of understand what these mean and you can, you can have a play around with these later. But um, for now, just choose Smart UV Project. OK, and if I um, change your sort of layout from default to UV editing, and you can do this by in the top over here, just click there and UV editing, and then it will bring up this thing on the side. And as you can see, you've got a bunch of cubes or squares, sorry, and these squares are each of the faces from your shape because basically what the smart UV package does I think that's the name no nope, smart UV project sorry it just takes all the faces and lays them out in a 2d format over here so then now if you go to image open image find the texture you want so um, hmm one sec. Let's just get a good one. Um, an oven. There we go. Don't ask me why I've got an oven texture. But yeah. Um, right, so then there it is. You open up what you want. And then, hang on. If you go into the view with the shape on the right here. And go down to click this box here. And change the viewport shading to textured so this shows what its end result will look like and um, as you can see different parts of the oven have been placed on my cube and what you want to do is just as you can see if I move each of them it changes the different faces so say I wanted to make an actual oven here and this this face is going to be the front so you find what face that is that's this one size it up and it's upside down for some strange reason press hit the w note i'm thinking of a different software never mind um ah uh, yeah um if you go down here probably should have mentioned this earlier you have four options here there um, each one lets you select different things so the one I had was this cube one which allows you to select the cube uh, or the shape sorry the square as a whole this one is a line like that um, this one is I think it's like um, when they're connected or something I'm not really too sure and then this one is individual points, like so. So if we just go to the line one, do that, get the other one. Don't know why it's upside down, it's really weird. But anyway, move that out of the way. And then just get the, line up the points exactly. If you go over, so for example I just do that with this one it just it repeats the texture so if I size it up just so you can see see it just it just repeats the image so yeah and then I want the other sides just to be blank just white so I just shrink them down and put them over a white area gone a bit retarded so I moved one of the points there we go all better 
And then there we go. One very blank oven. It hasn't got um hasn't got a hob, but you know we we deal with these things. Hmm. It's one of those fancy ones with a timer. Ooh, yeah. So anyway, that's how to um do it this way. And um, as I was trying to explain earlier, with the different kinds of um, UV what? mapping, oh, sorry, yeah. um, usually I just go with Smart UV Project, but what you can do is you can do things like Project from View, so as you can see it's, it's brought it over and exactly how I'm currently viewing it which um, can be useful in certain situations and it's also just you know general cube cylinder sphere so cube hmm, that's interesting yeah it just sort of bundles them over and there's, there's different ones so play around with that and it's it's, it's gone blank now yeah that's, that's about it, really, I think. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, feedback is much appreciated. So do tell me if I helped you or if I didn't. And if I didn't, explain how I could have or how I could improve. That would be very nice. Criticism is... Okay, I'm totally cool with that. I just like to know um, what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong. So please do tell me. And um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Oh yeah, one last thing. This is a, um, a cool thing I learned recently which will most likely help you out. It's helped me out a lot, makes things a lot easier. So anyway, here we go. Um, it's how to make faces. So as you can see, I've got a cube here, but it's missing this front face. So what you do is you select all the points and you hit the key F. Ta-da, it's made a face. And yeah, so if you can do it like this as well. And it can also make lines. So if I do this, then that, boom, it's made a line, and then, yeah, lines, there we go, and then you can make faces with these lines, see, and that is really helpful, there you go, thank you.